I am in 4.5 cams in motion and I'm going to be specifically focusing on the regular hexagon cam. Before we get started on that in this video, you need to know which nominal diameter you chose because your numbers may not match up with mine because you may have a different number that you chose. Now specifically for this example, I'm just using the 1.5, so if you got the 1.5, you lucked out, you're sticking with me. If not, you're going to plug in your number when I tell you to. So after you've picked your number, you're going to go to the cam dimension drawing, and we're going to be focusing on this one. One of the parts you want to pay attention to is where the letter D is. The D represents the nominal diameter of the cam, so D is your number. So wherever you see a D, that's where you're plugging your number in. So for example, to figure out the dimension from this to here, it's 0.5 times your number to figure that out. Same thing here. Now from here to here, we call that the distance across the flats. So if you want to just figure out end to end, you would just take that and multiply it times 2. But let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do this together. So you're going to open up Inventor and do a uh, new, file new. You're going to do an English standard inch IPT and hit create. And then the first thing we're going to do is a save as. Now you are going to navigate to your student folder and in your student folder you should have a 4.5 cams in motion folder. In there, once you navigate there, you are now going to name the file hexagon cam. Now I'm going to add the 1.5 to mine because I'm specifically using that 1.5 nominal diameter. So you can just name yours and then hit save. After it's saved, we're going to do a new 2D sketch and we're going to click the front plane or XY. And then the first thing we're going to do is draw a circle right in the middle. Now that circle represents the hole that's in the middle of our cam. How big is that hole? It has a diameter of 316. So I'm going to type in 3 slash 16 and hit enter. I'm going to hit escape to get out of the circle tool. And now I need to draw my hexagon. So to draw my hexagon, you're going to drop, yours says rectangle. Drop down the rectangle tool and go to polygon. When you click on polygon, the first thing it wants, if you read the lower left corner, it says select the center of the polygon. The center of our polygon is going to be right here in the middle. So I'm going to left click once, let go, move my mouse, and you'll start to see your polygon come to life. Now we could adjust the sides, but it just so happens that it already is at 6, which is the um, same as a hexagon. That's how many sides a hexagon has. So I'm just going to roll my mouse out to the right somewhere along this X plane here, and I'm going to left click. Okay, and then I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. The uh, next thing I'll do is I'm going to add in a dimension. So my the dimension that I'm going to add is going to be this one. So that is going to be half the nominal diameter that I chose. So I'm going to type in 0.5 times, now this is where you plug in your number. For my example, I'm doing 1.5, and I'm gonna, that is 0.75 for me. So I'm going to go dimension. I'm going to left click the center of the polygon and then I'm going to left click this outer point. Make sure you're clicking the points. And I'm going to bring the dimension up. I'm going to left click to add it and then type in 0.75 and enter. So we're almost there. The only problem is that it's not fully constrained. What I need to do is use a constraint to Make sure that, for example, this line always stays horizontal and locks it in this location. So to do that, I'm going to use a horizontal constraint right here. So I'm going to left click that and I'm going to simply, now what you don't want to do is click on a center or a point. So make sure that it's just the red line that's highlighted and just left click. As soon as you do that, your hexagon will become fully constrained and now your sketch is also fully constrained. I'm going to hit finish sketch. I'm going to extrude, and um, how far are we going to extrude? Well, the thickness is 3 16 So it's not recognizing the profile, so I need to click what I want to extrude. So I'm going to click here, left click that. I'm going to go the other direction, and I'm going to type in 3 16 Hit enter. 
click save and you have now finished your hexagon cam.